In this video, we'll give you a short overview of the MPLAB development tools and install MPLAB X, XC compiler, and using the plugin manager, MCC, as well as the MPLAB data visualizer. Let's get going. From the microchip homepage, we can go to design support, development tools, overview. And here you will get a table of all the major MCU product families and the relative support of each of these. So under IDEs, you can see MPLAB X IDE, Atmel Studio, compilers. Here you can see the XC compilers, configurators, MPLAB code configurator, MPLAB Harmony, and Atmel Start, programmers, debuggers, etc. So you can see the support and the links to each of these pages. On MPLAB X, we can see a description of the IDE. Um, this is a cross-platform IDE, and so when you go to the downloads, you'll see Windows, Linux, and Mac. We're going to download for Windows. Once we have the installer, we can run. We accept the agreement, select an install location, and here we get a number of decisions to make. We can select the integrated development environment, MPLAB X, also the integrated programming environment, which is a separate utility optimized for production programming environments. And then you also can select major MCU product families as well. Okay, so when the installer completes, you can see that we get checked by default opening web pages to MPLAB XC compilers, Harmony, and uh, MCC. So as we click finish, these web pages open. Microchip Code Configurator is a graphical free programming environment, generates easy to understand C code, and we're going to install MCC using the plugin manager. Harmony is an embedded software development framework for 32 bit microcontrollers and microprocessors. And here you can see an overview of the software framework and how it is architected. In terms of the XE compilers, the compilers are installed separately from the IDE. XE compilers, you get XE8, 16, and 32. There's also a video here describing the compilers. For now, I am going to first install the XE8 compiler, and so I'm going to download that. I submit the quick form and the XC8 compiler starts downloading. I'm going to run the installer. As it starts, accept agreement, select install location, and then I get a choice of adding a path variable. So just referencing the compiler user guide, eg 4 pick, and if we look at the command line driver, here we talk about the path variable and how that's useful if we're working from the command line. So if relevant, we can check the path variable and continue. Okay, so the compiler finishes setup and you can see pro licenses or a 60-day evaluation of the pro and I have a certain host ID. Note that what was installed now was MPLAB X IDE and IPE 5.25, but version 5.20 remains as a completely separate program. All the projects there remain untouched and intact. Let's open the IDE we've just installed. The first thing I want to do is go to Tools, Plugins, and search for certain available plugins. The first is the MPLAB Data Visualizer which is a tool to help you analyze the runtime behavior of the application, available as a plugin or standalone, and covered in a series on MPLAB visual debugging. I'm going to choose to restart later since I'm going to install MCC as well. So now I'm going to search for MCC. There are quite a number of different plugins available, but we can restart the IDE now. So behind the scenes, you see NetBeans updating. 
and the IDE loads again. In the next video, we'll give you a tour of the IDE and uh, all the major functionality that you will have here.